Hi guys, today we get a bit further away from everyday car mechanics. This video is all about choosing your next car, the best car for you. So for some of you, the choice is easy. You have one model which is your favorite and you want to go for it. For the rest of you, you might be considering few cars and you're not sure which one of them is the best choice or you're pretty open to different suggestions and the amount of options on the market seems overwhelming for you and you need some kind of methodological way to go through them not to lose yourself in it. So this video is my attempt to help you out to show you that simple mathematics basic level equation in the excel file or google sheets available to everybody can be a huge help in the process. The spreadsheet that you see in front of you is something that I have originally made for my wife because she's considering buying a car. She found it really useful so I decided to share it with you guys and well perhaps you find it useful as well. I've done first version in the excel file and then I transferred it to google sheets because they are free for everybody you don't need the software to take a look at it you basically need a free google account to do that. Okay, so now let me show you how it works. You will find this link under the video in the description. If you follow it, it will take you here. This spreadsheet cannot be changed. Um, I fixed it like that, but in order for you to use it, you can select all by clicking here, and then Ctrl C to copy the content. And then when you click here on the file, and then you click new, and then spreadsheet, it will take you to the new spreadsheet and then if you click here and you say Control V for paste, it will paste the content here. And there it is. So basically now you can edit whatever you want and it will calculate the results. So basically if I put zero here, you will see that this results 9.1 is going to change. You see, now it's lower down. So if I go back to the original version uh, I can explain a bit more for you now when you look at these different columns here they represent features of the car so you will have the year of production here looks for the owner looks for co-owner uh, parts the cost of the parts safety through tests price average comfort width, front volume and here in the rows you have different cars so each car has given um, a score for each of these features which is then summed up as a total result and if we go through the features one by one you can see that the year of production where for my wife the base uh, case is 2008 so this is what we have chosen as zero so any year that is younger than 2008 uh, gives you one more score, one more point for this section. So basically 2009 gives you one, 2010 gives you two, this has four, and that means that it's 2008 plus four, which is 2012. And for some of you, it might not have any importance and that's why you can modify this by setting the importance or the weight factor here that's the blue column here which gives you the uh, importance over the total of this one feature uh, so for my wife this was not as important so she gave it 0.2 if it's not important at all for you you can give it zero if it's very important you can give it 0. Uh, for, for example but we had it on 0.2 and I'm just going to explain it on the base case basically uh, so if we move on to the next one uh, the looks for the owner is obviously pretty critical for the owner so that's why we put 0.75 here as the weight factor and since I'm going to use the car from time to time I put 0.25 on myself, so I have some saying, but of course my wife has tripled the weight here. So her <laughs> opinion is triple as important for her car than my opinion is on her car, at least for the looks. Um, so uh, the scale here is from 0 to 3. Uh, if the car is complete crap, give it 0. I don't think I gave 0 to, or yeah, my wife did. 
uh, so yeah, but I wouldn't play the game where you give zero to the car, basically you don't want to buy a car that looks very bad, it's just why would you do that? And then uh, if it's okay, acceptable, you give it one, if it's good, you give it two, if it's great, the best car you've ever seen, you give it three. So you can also differentiate by giving something in between two and three or two and one, so uh, in that case it gives you a bit uh, more precise uh, total score of the car. And the same with co-owner and then if we move to parts, the part cost is from, well, zero to two. Uh, and that means that if the parts are really expensive, it gives you zero as well the worst. I don't think that anybody wants to pay a lot for the parts. If the parts cost medium, you give it one. If, they are, if the cost is low, uh, then you give it two and basically you save money on the repairs. Especially if you do it yourself, but of course the mechanic will also take less if the parts cost less um, Moving on to the safety uh, This was the most important factor for my wife. So we gave it five which is <laughs> really high, but you also need to consider that um, The safety here is based on the test uh, on one of the web pages that I found I can put the link in the description But of course you can use whatever page you want. Uh, I'm not saying this is the best. I'm just saying I used it so um, there are usually two criteria one is for the driver and safety of the driver and the second one is safety of the passenger passenger and what I've done is I have uh, used uh, an average between these two tests uh, so if for example let's say we have 88 here which is 88% uh, so that would be the case if the driver had 90% uh, score and the passenger had 86%. So I usually drive with kids. So for me, this is important for the average for both the driver and the passenger to be safe. And that's why I choose the middle uh, in between. So moving on. Uh, price obviously this is important you don't want to pay too much so uh, what I did is uh, this is not US dollars don't don't really look at this uh, it's another currency so uh, it's not as expensive as you would think <laughs> this is actually uh, more of an average car uh, so 23,000 is zero and whatever less you manage to pay basically 23,000 in my case is absolute maximum that I'm willing to pay for the car and uh, uh, or what my wife is willing to pay for the car actually uh, and then whatever uh, thousand you save this gives you one point so basically three points here means that the car costs 20,000 two points here the average car price is 21,000 and what I did uh, is I went online and I looked at all the advertisement for the car that I'm interested in and then uh, I disqualified three cheapest three most expensive ones and then I took the average from the rest uh, so you can do it however you want but uh, this is how I've done it it's just an indication of what you can choose to do and then I have the factor of 0 0.15 you can of course if, if if you're very critical on money you can raise this factor to 0 0.5 or wherever you want or if the money is not as important for you you can just delete it or you can decrease it regarding comfort it's also something well that i decided to add but you can choose yourself uh, zero is absolute crap also no point in including that cars i guess or maybe if the look is really really cool then it's worth it uh, one is acceptable two is comfortable and three is very comfortable so you can see that i have also used a bit in between here uh, to to basically have a bit better end result but more precise end result so these factors here and this uh, section uh, they are forming the total result here so if we click if you click here you will see how it works basically multiplies that number 
by this number and then it adds multiplication of this number to th with this number and then adds multiplication of this number and this number then adds this number and this number and so on until it gets the end result so um, when you have completed the table and then you feel that something is not right that well the looks is a bit more important in general you don't like how the cars have been arranged here you can just change the looks to whatever you think and then it will rearrange the total the end result of course in this case the most uh, important factor for my wife is safety for herself and the kids so that's why it has a pretty uh, high factor here um, so if I change it to 2 for example the numbers will look different but if I well it's still high so if I change it to 0 0.4 you can see that suddenly this car uh, it becomes a really good alternative so there's two or three information columns here and this is uh, the columns that are not forming the total end result here, the total score of the car, but it's just given for info. So one is the width of the car. My wife doesn't want the car that is too wide because it's difficult to park. And then she wants a car with the trunk where she can feed uh, more stuff for kids uh, usually and therefore we have the volume of the trunk. And the price here is just to avoid recalculating this every time you see, uh, every time you look at the car, you have just the average price here. Um, so this does not go into the total price, but it's an indication. So basically, if you look at the cars that have placed themselves very high here, you can see that, okay, there's, some difference in the first one and the second one but the first one has much larger trunk or at least a bit larger trunk than the second one so um, what I did in addition is I marked the high scores compared to others in the column by different color so the orange ones are very high and the yellow ones are indicated as pretty high the white ones are average and the uh, red ones are indications that this is pretty low compared to others so this is one of the bottom ones so for example this price minus two means that the average price is twenty five thousand, which is pretty high for me and uh, and that's why they are indicated red so if this car was on the top, I would be, oh, okay, but maybe I don't want to buy it because of the price. Uh, and it, it's also when the trunk volume is very low, it has a red indicator here. I've done the indicators, the color indicators I've done myself. So, but it took me really half a minute to do all this. So, so it, it's not really as, uh, much of work. The, the biggest work here is to put in all the numbers based on the uh, uh, car details that you find. So for example, regarding the width and the trunk volume, I tried to use one page. I used Wikipedia. Uh, you can hate it or love it. You know, I, I don't know the better page. If you know, just use it. Um, uh, at least it was very easy for me to find this information on the wiki. Um, regarding comfort, that was purely my feeling after looking at the, uh, the pictures, reading a bit about the car. So um, I used, I think I used three days to complete this table and then I showed the results to my wife and she was pretty happy and, and then she agreed that uh, this car number one, two and three, so this three that got the highest score apart from the third one because of the low safety factor or considerably low is something that she would like uh, and therefore and then uh, okay car 14 is something that she liked as well so she wanted it to be in because she for some reason feels attached to the car to the way it looks like so therefore we chose four and then when we are going to choose um, the car itself the real car we're going to look for this four models and then focus on them 
Okay, I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, but if there's something that you still don't understand or there's something difficult for you uh, in terms of using this spreadsheet, just let me know in the comments below and I'm going to answer to you. And remember that the spreadsheet is only an indication for you. Uh, if you don't like the results, then just modify the importance. Or basically, don't use the Excel file if you find the results strange. Just ask yourself what's the most important for you. Maybe the looks is the most important. And then just go for the looks. Don't look at the rest. Maybe the most important for you is the price. Go for the price, don't look at the rest. But the Excel file or the spreadsheet that I've given to you is basically something that should help you to understand what motivates you to buy the new car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and if you'd like to see some car mechanics instead, you're very welcome to check my channel out, I've got plenty of car mechanic videos there and good luck with choosing your new car.